Smash Drunk. One game that's held up over time as well as any other game is Legend of the Mystical Ninja. Not only is it a really fun platformer that executes the fundamentals really well, but it's one of the best looking games and one of the funniest games on the Super NES. I really like that you start the game beating the crap out of random people in your own village. These look like everyday people, like the guy evidently trying to bring home a ginormous fish that's flopping around trying to get away. Well, too bad for you, dude. I kick your ass, and I kick your fish's ass, too. Legend of the Mystical Ninja is a great example as to why games of this era, in my opinion, have aged much better than the early 3D games of the late 90s. I'm a big nerd for pixel art, and this is some of the best on the system. Everything is so crisp and colorful. The facial expressions are fantastic. Even as you beat up random bad guys, their expressions are hilarious. There's a lot of slapstick humor like that that I personally think is funny as hell. The multiplayer is what really puts this game over the top. For the tougher platforming parts that require precise jumping, you can just get on the other player's back to minimize annoyance. Imagine that! This, along with Mario Kart and Secret of Mana, are probably my favorite multiplayer games on the Super NES. The plot is about as important as it is in any Mario game, for instance. I mean, the princess is kidnapped, you go save her, the end, who cares? This game is fun enough as a platformer, but it's interesting to see the sheer amount of stuff that they crammed into this game. There's about 80 gazillion mini-games. Many of them center around gambling of some kind, like the over-under dice game and horse racing. But there's a quiz game show, there's a whack-a-mole, there's snake, which I'm terrible at, obviously. There's a ring toss kind of a game, there's a matching game, there's breakout, and there's even Gradius. That's right, in the middle of Legend of the Mystical Ninja, you can stop and play Gradius. It's got the power-ups and everything. That's pretty freaking cool. There's so much variety in this game that even the platforming itself has variety, with sometimes kind of a top-down perspective and sometimes a pure side-scrolling approach. One major flaw this game has, however, is that it has a password system, and not just any password system. The most ridiculous, unthinkably complex passwords that you will ever see in your life. Look at this crap! This is reason number 1A that you want to play this game on the Virtual Console instead of the Super NES. That's a bummer, but it's just reality. Other than that, this is a fantastic game. The controls are tight, the artwork is colorful and expressive, the hit detection is good, and the multiplayer is excellent. Legend of the Mystical Ninja is a great example of an older game that holds up brilliantly today. Hell, when making this video, I felt like I almost had too much footage and there wasn't a way to use it all, so just go play it.